Do you know that you can use Outlook rules on outgoing email as well? Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. This video is very atypical for my channel. It is not related to programming at all. It's just a simple Outlook tutorial video. So if you are a subscriber of my channel and used to my usual videos, you might just skip this one if it's not interesting to you. So, but um, back to the main topic. Um, I was asked about how to apply rules to Outlook emails, to outgoing Outlook emails. And initially I wanted to um, refer that person to one of the dozens or maybe even hundreds existing Outlook rules tutorial videos. But then I noticed that there is hardly any video about rules on outgoing emails. So. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an outgoing rule for an Outlook email. You need to find the rule button on the ribbon and go to manage rules and alerts. You need to explicitly take this route because otherwise it might not be possible to create a rule for an outgoing email. All the nice um, quick rule assistance in Outlook always create rules for incoming emails. And you explicitly need to click the new rule setting here and then select apply rule on messages I send. That is for the outgoing emails. So click next. Now you can select lots of criteria of conditions um, which must be met by the email for the rule to apply to it. But in this particular case, I will just don't set any condition and just continue. I need to confirm that this rule will apply to every message I send, but that is my intention. So I just click yes. And now you have a set of actions you can define for that rule. And one that is particularly interesting for outgoing messages is, for example, the CC, the message to people or a group of people. That might be quite helpful if you um, always want to include your team on uh, particular updates for a project. Then you would obviously select some conditions before, but maybe you need to include your boss in absolutely every email you send. Well, I don't think that is that makes particularly sense as a business rule, but sometimes that is how the rules are. So we use that as a use case for this rule. So I selected CC the message to people or group, and now I can select which is the email address I want to CC. And you can either select from your address book or you can just type any email address in here. I just use this one, info at pstiefel.de. That's a group email in my business. And that would kind of say, yeah, I want to include my, my team in every message I send. Now I click next and now I can define some exceptions when I do not want to apply this rule. And what might be sensible in this case is except if sent to people or group and if it's sent to this email address already then I obviously do not need to the C to uh, include that in the CC of that email. Now I can name this rule and I say CC my team and I can now um, run this rule for messages and send items already. I think this does not make sense in this case and, and I'm not sure if it works. I want to turn on this rule and if you got multiple email accounts defined in Outlook, you can tick this to say you want to apply this rule or activate this rule for all your accounts. 
So I leave it as it is. I just turn on the rule and say finish. And then I get an informational message. This is a rule that will only be active if I use Microsoft Outlook on this particular PC to send email. So it's a client rule only. It will not work if you use your mobile phone to send your emails or if you are on another PC and use Outlook to send emails. And that is something you see here with the client only mark. This rule is only defined in this particular Outlook instance on this particular PC. Okay, that's it. Very basic. Just let's check if it works as intended. I put in an email address here and I say test of automatic CC as a subject. And there's one tiny thing that I need to do here. I need to uh, select my current mailbox to, to be the sender of that account. That is totally optional. Um, it would not apply if you, most likely, if you uh, define that in your environment. It's just for my particular setting here. Now I hit send and the email is put into uh, the output box and I need to explicitly um, start the send and receive. And now I should see here is our email and you noticed I did not put someone into CC, but here is the email address and it is in the CC of that email. So my rule just did that. It inserted that email into that newly created um, email outgoing message. And I switch to a different account. That is, you see it, it's the info at phdfl.de inbox and that is the email we just created and sent. It's in here and works perfectly the rule. So um, that's it already. Thank you for watching and if you're interested in videos about VBA programming, SQL programming and stuff like that, you might subscribe to my channel. But um, otherwise this video was just an exception to, to what content I usually create. So you might not be too interested in the channel. But well, take a look. Thank you for watching anyway. Bye bye.